Hi guys, welcome back. We made it to day 14 of our 14 day challenge. And today I'm gonna be walking you through a nice rest recovery day, really stretching out those muscles, giving yourself a moment to breathe and be proud for all the hard work that you've accomplished over these last 14 days. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Grab a mat and bring your feet nice and wide. We're gonna start standing. Just take a big shoulder roll back. Do that again, two more times. Rolling those shoulders back. Now let's take a full circle through the arms, reaching up and back. Big reach. Two more times. Last one here. Good, you're gonna take a big inhale, reach those arms up. And then exhale, just press it all away. Let's take that right hand to the top of our head and then gently pull the ear over to the shoulder, pressing through that left palm, feeling that stretch in the neck. And then take your chin down towards the chest on the diagonal and lift it up other side. Left hand reaches over and draw that ear to the shoulder, press through that palm and then drop that chin. Just release your arms and take a gentle head roll over to the right side of your space. And do that one more time. Let's reverse that head roll, take it to the left side. Last time. Good, come back through the center. Let's roll the shoulders now to the front. Two more here. Good, now full circle through the arms, reaching back and forward. Reach, good, two more. Last one. Okay, let's take that right arm out to the side and then take a side body stretch. Your gaze goes up to the ceiling. And then bring it up other way. Left arm reaches all the way up, up, up. And lift one more time over to the left with that right arm. Lift it up. Last time. Good. All right, you guys, we are gonna face the side of our space. Bring your feet right underneath your hips. Big inhales, those arms reach up. And then you're gonna flat back as you reach forward, diving over those legs. You can take a soft bend in your knees if you need to. And then once you reach that 90 degree angle, just gently release over the legs fully and let your head just hang heavy here. If those arms are hanging, you can grab your elbows and just let all that energy reach towards the floor. Let gravity do its job, pulling us down, lengthening through the backs of those legs. And shake your head yes. And shake your head no. And then start to place your hands onto the mat and soften the bend in your knees until you drop all the way down into that little ball. Crouched over and let your head just hang between your knees. Good, and then we're gonna place our feet down and slowly roll back onto our backs, pulling our knees into our chest and your back is nice and flat. Just take a little circle through those legs like a little massage on the back of your lower back. Reverse that circle for four, for three, two, last one. Good, keep the right knee in and then extend your left leg long. Now if the leg doesn't want to fully extend, you can place the bottom of that foot on the ground but keeping that right knee into the chest here, wherever your body needs to go today. And then we're gonna gently extend that right leg up to the ceiling and then take a flex through the heel and then just point through the toe. Do it again, flex and point. One more time, flex that heel and point. Good, keep the foot pointed and then just gently pull it a little bit closer towards you. We'll take that right leg and just slide it out towards the right of your space, just an inch slightly different stretch through the back of that leg, opening up in that hip. Got 
got it. Come back through the center. And then you're gonna take it across your body now, over to the left, and feel that little stretch in our IT band here. So just about an inch past your midline. And then back through the center. We'll just hold it here for four, three, two, and one. You're gonna let that leg fall all the way down to the mat and just shake your legs out at the bottom. Amazing. Now we're gonna pull our opposite leg in, left knee into the chest here. And again, if you need to take your supporting leg and bend it on the ground, you can do so, or you can fully extend through that leg. Let's take that left leg in and reach it up to the sky. Holding that stretch, just take a flex through the heel and point through the toe. Flex that heel, point through the toe one more time. Flex and point. Hold it here. And then gently, when you're ready, take that leg out to the left just an inch, slightly opening up through that hip, keeping both hips and tailbone on the ground here. Beautiful, come back through the midline. And then we're gonna switch and take it across the body just an inch, feeling that stretch right here on the IT band. Feels good. And then back through the midline one more time for four, three, two, and one. Release that leg and let it fall along on your mat. Shake your legs out and then bend both knees in and place the feet flat on the ground. I want you to take your right foot, hook it across your left ankle and you're gonna find this figure four stretch. And then if that feels like a good enough stretch, stay here or you can grab behind your left leg and start to pull that knee a little closer into your chest here. Keeping the push open on that right knee. Nice hip opener, stretching through those glutes. Good, place that foot back down and switch it out. Hook your left ankle across your right thigh, press that knee out, and then option to grab behind that right leg. Pulling those knees in and breathe. Good, and then place both feet back to the ground and then once your feet are flat, I want you to just start to curl your tailbone up and off the mat. A little restorative bridge here. Just realigning that spine and then roll back down. Tap your hips to the mat. Do that again. Lift up. Two, three, four. We lower. Two, three. One more time. Hips up. Two, three. Four, lower all the way down till you reach the bottom. Yes. Good. We're gonna flip onto our front side. So go ahead and flip over and find your belly. You're gonna push your palms right out from your armpits and then just push up into those palms for a gentle cobra stretch. Only going as far as you can maintain control. Push those shoulders down your back. And take a little stretch. your elbows lower yourself back down onto your mat we're gonna tuck our toes and press ourselves up into a high plank hands are under those shoulders shoulders are down the back core is engaged just hold in the stillness here let's take our right leg float it up off the ground draw your knee into your chest and then plant that right foot flat finding our runner's lunge here and then you're gonna reach your right arm up as you take that easy twist towards the front of the space. Feeling length in the back of that thigh. Let's take a gentle circle back for four, for three. Here's our two, last one. Hold it back, reaching for that back ankle. Let's drop the knee down. You can stay here or if you have the option, you can lift that back ankle up and you'll feel a stretch in the top of your left thigh, the quad. Whew. 
and release it down. Let's place both hands down. Lift that back knee. You're gonna step your right foot back into that plank. Just hold here for four, for three, two, and one. Float your left foot up. Draw the knee in. Step the foot forward. Find that runner's lunge for me. Just hold your stretch here. Keep length in the back of that back right leg. Easy twist as you reach your left arm up. Opening that chest. Let's start to circle that arm back for four. For three, two, last one, hold it back. And then we can gently drop that back knee. And then if you have the flexibility to do so today, float that right foot up off the ground and reach for that back ankle. Nice work, release that leg. Press both palms back down, tuck your back foot under, lift that back knee, and then step your left foot back and meet me back in that high plank. We just hold it here for four, for three, two, on one. Lift your hips into a downward dog. Those heels float to the floor. They might hover just a little bit, but then I want you to release your neck, your head, and actively Press through your palms, press your chest towards your knees and feel the stretch in the back, but also behind the knees and up the thighs. Let's start to bend the knees. We bend our right knee, switch left knee, bend right, bend left. Just four, three, two, on one, both heels press flat and just hold. Start to tiptoe your feet in to meet your hands. And then while you're here, just take a little soft bend in your knees. And I want you to plant your left hand down to your mat. Take a soft bend in your left knee. And then you're gonna reach and take a little twist. Soft knees up to that right hand, excuse me, left hand. And then come back through center, switch your hand, bend your opposite knee, and then take that little twist as you reach up, 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 and take that gaze towards the fingertips. And place both hands down. Soft bend in your knees, and then take your hands behind your spine. I want you to clasp your hands together and press your chest forward and dive those arms down and just let everything kind of hang heavy here. Feels good to shake your head no, shake your head yes. And then carefully release those hands back down. Soft bend in those knees, start to rebuild your spine. One vertebrae at a time until you reach the top. Go ahead and face me and let's take a nice wide leg, turn out your toes, bring your arms up. And then I want you to melt down and press your chest forward. Just opening up those hips. One final movement for you. You can wiggle around, do whatever feels good. I'm gonna dip my right shoulder forward and take that little rotation. Bring it back up to the center and switch left shoulder dips forward. And back to the center, turn your toes in, and then take a flat back, fold it all the way down until you reach the bottom of your space. Just a slight different stretch through the backs of those legs. Let your head hang heavy. And then we'll take a little bit in those knees and rebuild that spine one final time after you reach the top let's take one big shoulder roll back and then one last inhale all the way up bring your hands through the center Woo! hopefully you're feeling nice and loose relaxed and ready for your day i hope you guys enjoyed our 14 day challenge as much as i did if you did comment below and let me know that you completed it and i can't wait to continue moving with you all so we will see you next time